Well, hi everyone, it's Don Smith. It is July and it's time for my tip of the month. And this month, I really racked my brain on what I wanted to talk to you guys about. You know, if you've been following my tips of the month, they usually deal with processing and how to make yourself better at processing. And one of the ways I've found that's helped me over the past year is to start using linear profiles. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is a linear profile? And if you are, <laughs> you're at the right place. I'm going to talk a little bit about what a linear, linear profile is, why you might think about using it in your workflow on your raw files, how to go about getting it, and here's the good news, it's free, you don't have to pay a penny, and how to install it and start using it. So let's get started. First of all, I'd like to mention that I am an, now an affiliate with Tony Kuiper for the great TK8 panels. Uh, if you use my code at checkout, you can purchase the panel or the videos, any of the training videos from Sean Bagshaw, and my code is DS15, which will get you 15% off any purchase. And uh, I would appreciate it if you used my code and saved yourself a little bit of money. So what is a linear profile? Well, really it is nothing more than a set of instructions for a raw file specific to your camera that is a, serves as a starting point for your raw file. And by the way, I'm, if you look in the show notes below, I'm gonna leave you a couple of links. I'm going to leave you the link to this page on Tony Kuiper. And um, we're gonna go up here in a moment and click on this link that'll take us to the actual profile downloads for your camera and uh, how to install them. I'm gonna leave you those links too so you don't have to be jumping all over the place. I just wanted to spend a few moments here talking about what is a linear profile. And uh, as I said, it's, it's a set of raw instructions. And the reason I, I first started getting involved in linear profiles about a year ago, I tested them and I'll have to be honest with you, right off the start, I uh, didn't like them and I kind of went away from them. Then one day about six months ago, I was working on a rather contrasty file and I was really having trouble getting the subtle details in my shadows and highlights. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna work with the linear profile. And at the time it was for my Sony uh, Mark IV, uh, A7R Mark IV camera. And I really saw a difference in how much data I was able to recapture in both the highlights and the shadows, and I was able to, to process out the file the way I had envisioned it in my mind. And I'll tell you, ever since I have downloaded every profile for every Sony camera I have, and uh, even just recently downloaded the raw profiles, linear profiles for my iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's easy, it's fun. You can try it and you be uh, the decision maker. Uh, Tony goes into them in depth here um, as to why he uses them. And if you come down here, these are really some of the bullet points that you're going to find. And as I found out, the more I've stuck with these linear profiles, that you really just have more flexibility in the sliders. They tend to offer you more in the adjustments as you slide them. I already talked about the highlights and shadow, and you can see that's bullet point number three, better shadow and highlight discovery, uh, richer and not overly saturated colors. I work a lot with the hue, saturation, and luminance panel in Lightroom, and I've found that it does a fantastic job giving me more control with all of these adjustments in that module. Um, more pleasing raw conversions, easy to, uh, or exposure to the right, excuse me, if you're still a photographer who uh, really exposes to the right, it's gonna give you uh, a better file as you get into Lightroom to work with. Um, so let's, uh, let's come up to this little um, 
URL and jump down to the linear profiles. And here you can scroll through and find your cameras. Here's where I found my uh, iPhone 14 for all three lenses in the i4 uh, 14 Pro Max. And uh, I'm Sony, so if you come down here, um, here's my A7R Mark V. I have a Mark IV. Um, I have an A7R Mark III that's been converted uh, to um, um, infrared, excuse me. And anyway, I, I've gone through, I have four or five Sony camera now I own, and every one of them I have a profile that I have downloaded. So let's just go here, even though I have this profile, um, if you were to just simply click on the profile, you're gonna get that warning message come up. So just scroll back up to the top here on downloading linear profiles. Here's the link if you click that shows how to install them. Uh, if you're somebody that feels more confident printing that out and following that, do that, or you can just follow my video here and I'm gonna walk you through. But to get to these profiles, which by the way are absolutely free, we're not selling you anything, you don't need the TK8 panel to work with these. These again are gonna work in your raw converter. I'm gonna show you how to do it for Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw because that's the software I use. So if I click on the A7R Mark V, you're gonna see it's going to come up and it's going to say zero dollars. You can, if you have multiple cameras, then just click continue shopping and go back and highlight or click on the link of each one of yours. Uh, no promo code because these are free. So let's go to checkout. Here's where you're going to insert your um, email address. And then uh, here you can put a check mark to subscribe for newsletters and updates from Tony. I highly recommend that anytime Tony updates a panel or he's got something of interest, um, you, can, you can just go and um, check your email. He's gonna email you on a regular basis. Sorry, here's where you would click the free checkout. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna send you an email so I heard my email just ring there and uh, you'll get that little thank you screen. If I come over here, there's my email that Tony just sent me and I'm going to go ahead and click on this link and it's going to start downloading this profile or giving me the option to download it, excuse me, which is right there. And I'm going to download it. Uh, I'm going to put it on my desktop now, Tony does say there is an issue with some Macs, and I want to make sure that's downloaded. Let's get out of here and out of my emails. And um, there it is right here. It's this zip file. Now, if, if you happen to get this and it's unzipped, okay, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, let me pull that out of there. If, if it comes to you as a DCP file, just simply right click it, come down here and compress it again, and that will get you back into the folder. Because when we go into adding these in, we don't want to add just this single uh, DCP file. We want to add, uh, and there it came back up, we want to add z the zip file. So now that we have the profile downloaded, we need to install it. And the way we go about doing that is we open up Photoshop, which I have opened here. And all you have to do is open up a either a TIFF file or a JPEG file. And once you have that open, you're going to come up here to filter. And then you're going to come down to camera raw filter. And now you're going to be into the Adobe Camera Raw uh, dialog box. You're gonna come over to this icon, which is presets, click on it, and just to the left of presets, presets, not these three dashes underneath, but these three right here. You're gonna click on that and come down to import profiles and presets. And when I do that, if I'm not on my desktop, and that's where I did save it, and there was the one that we recompressed, 
I would just click and then I would click import and I'm going to get this little dialog box that says unable to import any profiles or presets. All items were already imported. And um, but if you this is your first time through and or you're adding new cameras, you would not get that. That would not uh, be there. Then we're going to come on over. Let me get out of um, well, let me get back into Lightroom. OK. And the way we install this preset is we open up or activate this preset, it's already been installed, is we open up the basic module right here. And then you're gonna come down here. You can see this is the one I used to use, the Adobe Color, but I'm gonna click on these four little squares here. And now if I come down to the camera matching folder if that's not opened you can just open it there you come down and you're going to see that there is my sony a7r5 uh, profile so um before i actually i'm going to click on it to highlight it and before i leave if you click this little star you will actually add it to your favorites folder which is found right there and you can see I already have started, and mine has gone inside. So now I click close, and you can see that the profile I am using is the Sony A7R5. And this is what Tony has recommended uh, as a starting point. And what I always do, I just come down to Auto in the Develop module, and I just click, and um, in Lightroom, their auto is now auto run by AI. So it's going to give you a good starting point and then feel free to tug on these sliders any which way you go back and you can cool or warm up your color temperature. And it's, this is still looking flat to my eye, but I would go through now and just process, process this image out as I would any uh, regular raw file. So that is how we use linear profiles. Just to sum it up, I've showed you how to get to Tony's page. Again, these are all free. I've showed you how to download them, how to open up Photoshop, how to install them, how to get to Camera Raw and activate them. I would uh, just in highly encourage all of you to give this a try. Um, don't give up on it as, as quickly as I did. Work with it and uh, see, just, just give it a feel. Run a lot of different lighting scenarios with it. You can see this was a very flat file shot of this surfer at 7 a.m. on a winter's morning with just the sun starting to come in on the hills behind it. Actually, the first time in 50 years that those hills back there uh, had actually had any snow. That sits right up above the community of Cayucas, which is just four miles up the road from where I live in Morro Bay. Okay, so that's how we do it. Uh, hope you found this video useful and give it a try and see if it doesn't improve your raw files.